Hi guys, hey guys and, and welcome, welcome to, to Vlogmas Day 6. Good morning guys, today is December 6th and the significance of today is that in Germany this is St. Nicholas Day yeah. Nicholas Day And so for the past few years Sebastian's been giving me something for St. Nicholas Day And because he started giving me stuff for St. Nicholas Day, I started giving him stuff for St. Nicholas Day Oh, it's my sweater? I thought it's yours and you're just covering it up No Oh, because it's like, what's it called again? Um, cable net Awesome, thanks so much. I, I wanted it. to get you it's a so, Christmas it's so sweater. It's so beautiful. I love it because I feel like I don't have enough sweaters. Oh my god, you bought me slime? Oh my god, no way. I can't I believe like it. it. I love it. Like it. More underwear? Did you take this from your advent stash? <laughs> no. <gasps> More slime! Yeah. It smells so good. Oh wow. Isn't OG slime the one that made up butter slime? Yeah. Sebastian's wearing his new turtleneck sweater and he looks so cute in it. He looks so nice in turtlenecks. <laughs> I have to get up yesterday's vlog. I've edited most of it, but I still have to cut it down quite a bit. It's almost two o'clock now, so I'm hoping to get that up really quickly. And then we have to go pick up our Christmas tree. We're gonna go to a different farm. All morning, all we did was basically clean the house because it was a disaster. Oh, I'll show you guys the wreath that I made. If you guys watched yesterday's vlog, then you will have seen me flock this wreath. So this is the wreath, and I don't love how it came out because I used way too much of the flocking powder, but it was the first thing I had ever flocked. Now that I know how it goes on, I will try to do it more in like light layers and then decide how much I wanna like add extra in certain areas. But I do like the effect, and when you touch it, it's actually like really soft. <laughs> It is about 3.30 right now and we're just finishing up yesterday's vlog And I know I said in yesterday's vlog that I wanted to get the vlogs up a lot earlier than they were going up But this morning I spent a lot of time cleaning the house and putting my clothes away and things like that So that was one of my priorities was to get the house clean because it was making me anxious to see such a mess everywhere So it's still pretty messy, but it's a really big improvement on what it was yesterday So right now I'm going to start getting ready to leave because we have to go get our Christmas tree And I'm curling my hair for the first time since I cut it this is the curling iron I use. This, I've been using this for so long. This is the Amica or Amica clipless curling wand. And I think this is a one and a half inch or one and a quarter inch barrel on here. And I think they sell this at Sephora still. I really love this curling wand though. It's the only wand that I can use that my hair will actually hold a curl in without any extra product. But I'm excited because my hair used to be so heavy that all my curls would always fall out. Oh my gosh, it looks so short to me. I would like it to grow maybe just a little bit longer than this. But I like that I have some layers now. a different Christmas tree farm now. Well, actually it's not a farm, this is a lot. And we've decided on a different type of tree entirely. We're now considering the noble fir since this lot doesn't have large grand firs. But I just really love the smell of grand firs. Finding some decent trees here. I'm really surprised. I thought this was gonna be a really disappointing experience. I like this one. I love it. That one is huge. All right, so we are deciding between these two trees. Whoa, that happened. <laughs> But do you, do you like, like it? Okay, let's get it. You guys, we got it. We found the tree. I'm actually really surprised because we always drive by this tree lot and I always think, wow, it looks really tiny in there. And you see the trees from a distance and you're like, they look really small. But then you come in here and they have an amazing collection of trees. And it's for charity. Oh, it's for charity. Oh, it feels so much better. Why were we buying the other one now? Oh gosh. So they also have holly by donation and I think this is the first time I've ever seen real holly up close. This is so cute. So we got the tree. I'm so happy and I'm also so happy because I didn't know this before going there but they're actually a charitable tree lot. So every tree that gets sold 
the proceeds go towards a charity that helps out people who have been in the foster care system and helps them get established like with apartments, cooking classes, and just basically practical things to help them set up their lives and stuff. So when the guy was telling me what the proceeds go towards, I was literally almost in tears. Why was I buying my Christmas trees at a company before when I could be doing something more positive with my money. I think it's so nice to give back to other people, especially those who are less fortunate than you are. Maybe I'm just being really emotional right now, but that was really touching to me. We just got home and we grabbed some dinner. I got a wrap and a salad and Sebastian got some fries and some chicken fingers and then gravy. This is the dressing. You guys, look at this outfit that my dog is wearing. It's so cute. It's got little gingerbread men and some candy canes. Do you like it? You look like a little baby. Give me a hand, give me a hand. Come on. Now, <laughs> you're so funny. You're such a good boy. All right guys, so it's the real challenge now. We have to rearrange this whole living space to accommodate for the tree to go in that back corner there where the light is. And I'm honestly really nervous to see how this is all gonna work out. Tentatively going to put this tree in this corner and move all this stuff behind me right here, which is how I used to have everything set up. And then we might have to move my stand up in my bedroom that has like my books and whatnot in that down here for the TV to go on it just for the holiday season. I guess we're gonna see how this is gonna go. We're really sad because we like how this looks like a little living area, but before when we had the sofa and everything here, it didn't really have that same feeling. It kind of felt like the kitchen and the living room and the dining room were all kind of one piece. Sebastian's trimming off the bottom of the tree right now. If you've ever had real trees, they die so fast. One way to keep a tree alive a lot longer is to cut off the bottom like two inches of the tree. If it's completely covered with sap, it won't take in water and then drill in holes above that so that it will still take in water. You got time for a DIY? <laughs> oh, you're just so proud of your clean cut, aren't you? <laughs> you are. Look at this. That is really smooth. have our tree in its probably final position, which is in the corner. I'm hoping that the tree settled down a bit because it almost fit into this corner over here. And then if it was able to fit there, we could still have the living room set up how we had it before. But if not, it'll just stay like this until after Christmas is over. But usually what happens with real trees is eventually the branches start to like droop a bit and they kind of settle at a lower position. So it doesn't look as voluminous as it is when you first get it. So I'm kind of hoping that happens because then at that point we would be able to move it over into the corner. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I'm actually really happy that we finally have our tree. So tomorrow we will be decorating it, hopefully if everything goes to plan. So don't forget to like and subscribe and we will see you all in tomorrow's vlog for Vlogmas Day 7. Right, 7? Yeah, bye, bye. guys. Christmas.